Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a mama. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is my sorority's formal. I am literally so excited. I am in Zeta here at Longwood University and this is actually our semi-formal, so it's short dresses. So I figured I would wanna vlog this experience. My roommate and best friend Madison was actually the one that planned it. So that's another reason I'm so excited. We have been spending this whole day getting it ready, blowing up balloons, putting up banners, just decorating the whole venue. So that is another reason I am so pumped for this formal. The weather outside is gorgeous. It's like 80 degrees. It is the perfect formal weather. Sorry, I keep messing with my hair because I just blow dried it. So it looks kind of crazy right now. But yeah, I am literally so excited. It is going to be so much fun. I'm in a great mood, only a week left of classes. And I really just want to document this. So for the first part of this video, I'm going to be doing the little get ready with me, which should be interesting because I've never done one of these before and I'm not super into makeup and all of that. So that part probably won't be that long. And then I'm just going to vlog the rest of the day. We're supposed to have people coming over to our house to take pictures. We're gonna go to the venue and we're supposed to be the first people at the venue. So I can give y'all a little tour of that. And we have a band coming actually, which is so much fun. And I will show y'all all of that. Okay, so getting into the little get ready with me portion. I just got out of the shower, hence why I am in this robe. But the first thing I like to do before I get ready for the day or anything like that is I like to pull out my face roller. It's still in the bag. This is just a face roller I got from Amazon and I feel like it really helps with de-puffing. It may do absolutely nothing, I'm not sure, but it makes me feel better. So I like to do this for about five minutes, especially if my face is feeling a little puffy, which I definitely think it is looking a little puffy at the moment. I just got done rolling my face, feels so much better. It really probably doesn't even look different, but it just feels better. So the next thing I'm going to do is put on some of my lotion. I don't know if you can tell what it is, but it is the Clinique Moisture Surge. I put all of my moisturizer on. I am feeling very good, very fresh. And now I am about to start curling my hair. And just a little disclaimer before I get into the get ready with me, I'm not the best with hair or makeup or anything like that. I use pretty minimal makeup I feel like. And with my hair, I'm not even the best at curling it, but I make do. So I'm about to start curling my hair. I use this curling wand. It is just a bed head curling wand. I've had it for a couple years and I feel like it's the only thing that has helped me curl my hair right. And whenever I curl my hair, I honestly curl them pretty tight and then I brush them out. And then it takes like 20 minutes, honestly, for them to look like how I want to because they slowly will fall out a little bit. So yeah, I'm about to start curling my hair. And I know some people will do like makeup first and then hair, but for some reason I always have to get my hair out of the way because that's what stresses me out the most. And then I do makeup second. So I don't know if everyone is like that, but yeah, about to start curling and we'll see how it goes. Of course, I like to brush it out completely because my hair gets really tangly. So I just like to make sure it is untangled as possible. And then I will normally separate my hair into two sections like this. I do the bottom layer first and then I just do this one second. And I know it looks kind of crazy, but I feel like it helps me having like more layers, I guess. I don't even know. More volume. It makes me have more volume in my hair. I don't really know if it makes a difference, but this is just what I normally do. So I'm done with the first layer. It, I put it all in the back like this. And then I am now going to spray it down with some hairspray, just so that it keeps its hold throughout the night. So then now I am going to take down this layer and start curling this. finished curling my hair it is really curly right now i would not go out of the house like this i forgot to put hairspray on the top layer so let me do that really quick
Okay, now that that's done, I am done with my hair. I normally wait like until I'm done with my makeup and then that's when I will brush out my curls because then the hairspray will be all dried by then. But yeah, this is a little bit of what it looks like right after I'm done, but obviously the waves will be a lot looser once I brush it out. So now we are getting into the little makeup portion, I guess. This is literally in my makeup bag. I don't really own that much makeup but I will just take y'all through what I normally do. So I'm changing the angle a little bit because I need to be able to look into this mirror, but I also want y'all to see, actually I might change it again. I'll play around with it as I am doing my makeup. So first I go in with this e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer, I guess. And normally I will put this concealer on my under eyes and my eyelids. And then also I have these pimples that are really random that I randomly one day got on my neck. And I'll put them on here. And sometimes I'll use my fingers, but sometimes I will use this little beauty blender. This is what it looks like all blended. Probably not a super big difference for anyone else, but I feel a little bit better when I have concealer on. And on a normal day, I will mainly just do concealer and powder and that's it for my face. But since this is like a little special occasion, I use this BB cream, really basic. For those of y'all who don't know, a BB cream is like a tinted moisturizer kind of. It's not like quite a foundation because that's a little too heavy for me. So I put this BB cream on and I'll normally just do it in dots like randomly around my face and add more if needed. And then I'll just spread this with my fingers because it just feels better than a beauty blender. So this is what it looks like with the BB cream. It just adds a little bit more coverage kind of and makes me a little darker I feel like. You really can't tell that much of a difference but it makes me feel a lot more covered especially if I'm having some acne or uneven skin tone. And normally I wait for this to dry for a little bit because, I don't know, I feel like it takes a little while to dry. And then after it dries, I put this Fit Me loose powder. And for some reason, I just like the loose powder better than the compacted powder. And I just put it all over my face. I don't really do any contouring. I just do this and I don't know. It's just a little bit more coverage also. So now I am going to put this powder on. It is normally a little bit messy, I am being honest. So then next, I go in with this e.l.f. dewy coconut setting mist. And it just really gives me that glowy kind of look versus just matte. And I don't know, I don't really like when my face feels dry. And then I go, this. This video should be sponsored by e.l.f. because I literally use so much e.l.f. product, but I just use the e.l.f. Wow Brow, and it's just a tinted brow brush thingy, and just go over my eyebrows, and it makes them feel a lot more full. And then after that, I use this e.l.f. eyeliner. This is probably the hardest part of my makeup um, routine, I guess is doing this eyeliner because eyeliner can be a pain in the butt sometimes so we'll see how it goes so i just had a little breakdown trying to do my eyeliner so i had to go to my bathroom so i didn't record that definitely trial and error and it turned out decent not the best honestly but i am just going to deal with it because honestly you can't notice that much once you put mascara on and then i use the better than sex Too faced mascara and then lastly, I use this e.l.f. lip plumping gloss, and it really depends. This is just the one I just bought recently, so I want to use it today, but I will sometimes use Mario Podescu, or I have the lip injection thing, so it just depends on what I'm in the mood for, but I kind of like the shine on this one. So this is what my makeup looks like. Nothing too exciting, honestly. I didn't even put eyeshadow on, I just remembered, but I am not going to do that because I'm just not a big eyeshadow girl and every time I put it on, I don't like it. So I'm gonna do the no eyeshadow look, I guess. But now it is time to get dressed. 
So before I get dressed, I'm going to brush out my hair and basically I just do this and just make it have more loose kind of curls and this is what it ends up looking like kind of more like a blown out kind of look i guess and i'll probably put some more hairspray in just for good measure but this is the final ish look so this is my dress it is a white low neck kind of style and it is really flowy on the bottom because i am not a big fan of tight dresses at all so it really reminds me like of like a white tulip like i feel like i'm wearing a little white tulip when i wear this but yeah i'm about to change into it i need to charge my camera for a few minutes so i will check in with y'all after i get changed and all of that sorry it's kind of dark in here but this is what i am wearing it's this little white dress with these pearl earrings and then just some basic black heels that I wear to literally every formal. And then here's Chase wearing, you know, what dudes wear. And now we're about to go over to one of my sorority sister's houses and take pictures. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Hey, boy. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper. Oh my god! The newlyweds! Yes, so cute! Okay, so we're on the way to formal. Super exciting. We have to go meet the bus right now and then we'll be there. Okay, so we're at the venue now. This, oh yeah, they're, they are our bartenders. Um, this is the banner that we made, the Hotel Alpha, Spring Formal, really cute. Um, got some balloons, the really cute disco ball balloons. We have our band here, the porch gliders, they're so awesome. We have some chicken nuggets and some sweet stuff. Here is my roommate Jessica and Abby. We're so excited. And another roommate, Abby Heller. Yep, yep. We have some Polaroids, and this is where we're gonna take the Polaroid pictures at. Really cute disco balls. And this is the overall setup. The boys are blowing up some more balloons before everyone gets here. Here's a little close up of the band. Woo! <laughs> This is the outside area, super pretty. We got this little river going on. Here's my big Danielle, she's ready to party. Here's Madison, the queen who planned this whole event. Yeah. Everyone is out here taking some pictures. So, so pretty. Chase is eating some chicken nuggets. He has his film camera. He's gonna take a bunch of pictures on. He's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that features. In the music. We got white right here. Yeah. 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 from the porch gliders because they love her and she planned this amazing formal and now we are shutting down the band shutting down and everyone is just chilling okay so it is 12 o'clock right now and we are the last people here my whole house is are you vlogging yeah recording live she planned the formal 
It looks great. Thanks. I was in charge of the balloons. Decided to stick with a blue, gray, and white theme. She's she's wearing yep. a white dress. Yep. All for My me. wonderful date's wearing a pink dress, which is just totally not color coordinated with any type of balloon I blow up. But yeah, she was clashing. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar.